Hi everyone, this is Cindy. I hope you all are doing well. I'm gonna go ahead and do some website critiques right now. So let me know if you can hear me okay and um, say hi if you are on. And I only have four website critiques that posted today. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all four of them so I don't even have to choose. So let me go ahead and switch over. Okay, so the first one is going to be TJ Hunter. And let me read what TJ Hunter asked. Is my site user-friendly? Are you able to find everything easily? Is there enough information that would make you want to contact me? So those are great questions. So I love, I love this photo on the front page here. Um, I love this font, Capture Life's Beautiful Moments. That's your tagline. I love that tagline, and I think it's, it's all beautiful. And um, what I noticed when I looked at this is that you say Start Here, and when you click on the Start Here button, it takes you to these pages here, and you see brides and grooms, portraits, celebrations, and, for example, if I click on it, it goes straight to contact and it tells the pricing and that's fine but you kind of like have taken them from start here without really telling them about yourself or anything any other information straight to contact you and the pricing there so i might um I think it's okay to have them contact you, maybe say um, for a complimentary consultation, um, fill out this form, and then in addition to the pricing, that's fine there. But actually what this looks like to me is it looks like I'm gonna click on galleries. And then when I go to your portfolio, um, it takes a little time to load, it's probably my internet. When I go to portfolio, it takes a long time to load actually. So um, I see that all the uh, photos here and I would like to see probably your galleries of your portfolio set up in the way that you have your services set up, if that makes sense. So I think this is great. Um, if you wanted to, like this could be the home page, well not the home page, but you can still have this if you wanted to have an extra link and it would say um, portfolio, and then you could separate them. You could have the brides and grooms, portraits, and celebrations, because here in your portfolio, you don't have them separate. They're kind of all together. So that's what I would do on that. And then I think that's the only suggestion I had to make there. Um, I did look at your pricing and I don't know a whole lot about your business, but it, the prices seem kind of low. I think you could try and raise your prices for sure. Um, $60 an hour coverage for events I think is really low, um, even with two hour booking required. So I would challenge you to start raising your prices little by little because I think, I mean, your, the quality of your photos is great and I think you can definitely get more. Um, and I think that was all I had. Oh, you asked if I needed to see more information. And I probably would put a little bit more information. Um, you have about, about you. I would put about a little bit more information about the sessions themselves that makes sense so other than that um, everything looks great I like the chat with me down here um, and then your contact page is great so that's all I have for you hopefully that was helpful and the next one we're going to is Liza Jane Studios and I know Liza Jane asked if she specializes in too many um, types of photography. And I know photographers throw around the word specialize, I specialize in, and then they list a whole bunch of different 
niches of photography. So I might not say that you specialize in something unless you actually like focus on one or maybe two types of photography. Because think about it, I always like to think about like doctors. They when you go to a specialist, you're going to not a family doctor, not a um, you know a family doctor that does everything. You're going to a specialty doctor that specializes in maybe one or two things. Like for example, a kid's dentist that does maybe dentist and dental work and braces. They specialize in dental and braces, and not like and only for kids. So I would I would say that. Um, I don't think it's bad to shoot a lot of different kinds of photography, but I think if you shoot a lot of different types, you may want to separate your website. And I noticed you have kind of done that here as well. That's what I was going to recommend to you because you've got your portrait work, you've got commercial work, then you've got newborns. And I was going to say, um, I notice here when I click on newborns, It goes to a whole nother site and the first thing I notice about that is that there's no way when I go to home it just goes back to the newborn site there's no way to get back to the main site so I would definitely have a button to get back to the main site we we'll do that um, Liza Jane Studios here I know you've kind of differentiated it let me let me go back um, Because I think, yeah, you have the all caps in your logo here. And then when you go to newborns, you've got the smaller one. So that differentiates a little bit. You may even want to say like um, newborns by Liza Jane Studios. I might do that. Um, and then I notice here when I click on get 25% off now, it goes here to this page which isn't really, it doesn't really say about 25% um, off or anything like that. So I would do that. And then it, it reverts back to the font or the logo with the all caps. So it's a little bit inconsistent there. But um, also you can't get back to that page. There's no navigation on this page. So I would definitely fix this button, either make it go to the 25% off page that tells about um, the special or make it go to the other page and make sure you watch your navigation there. And the 25% off now, I think that's a lot to offer. I would probably start out with like 10% or 15%. Um, that's what I would do. And let's go back to your main site here. Let's see. Okay, and then I notice you have your um, commercial work. Again, I would probably, I think it's fine like that, but if you wanted to, you could make another extension of your website and say um, commercial work by Liza Jane Studios or, or have another name for it or something like that. But I, I love the colors here. I love the blocks. Um, I like the photos. Really like that photo there too. And I think that's about all I had for you for now. So let's go to the next one. Which is Exposures by Melanie. And let me see what question said I've oh about the music. So I've toyed with the idea of music or no currently have it and not sure if it's appealing to the eye or to higher end clients or if it looks pretty basic so okay so let's go back here and i see you have the music down here and i think the music's Fine. If you're unsure about it, I see how you have the where you can start and stop it, and that's fine. Most likely, they probably aren't going to hit play. 
I would probably, like personally, I would just take that off. I don't think you need music. Um, so I would personally leave it off. I would also, this is a personal preference here with your logo. Uh, I would take your logo off because you've got it up here. And then um, galleries, you have a whole lot of gallery links on your navigation bar here. So I would combine some of these, for example, individuals, families, and couples. So that's kind of like just portraits. And then here, graduation and cap and gown is both kind of in the senior realm. So maybe say high school seniors. Um, and then bridal anniversary, that could kind of be combined too into one link. And then you've got your boudoir here. So if you combine these links in the navigation drop down menu, you'll have room to put the boudoir there under the galleries if you wanted to do that. And then. Under the about. Okay, I've got your about page that looks good and then I noticed I wanted to point out under the studio I like how you have the story about how you decided to make your studio and I think there are too many photos of your studio here I definitely noticed that the lighting is not consistent in these images there's some that have kind of a yellow tint and hue and then these are more kind of a cool colored blue tint so I would just have one image and this image right here is my favorite image of the studio so I would like one of these that shows the backdrop and your props and also I would just I would just make one large image and I think that music started playing there too so it that, it might be a little distracting is I've heard um, music that's really distracting so the type of music isn't distracting but if it comes on and you're not expecting it, then people might be clicking out. They're like, where's that music coming from? And try to click out. That's what I do sometimes. I have so many browsers open and I don't remember which one is um, coming, the sound is coming from. So I would do that for that page. And other than that, I think everything else looks good. And I know you had asked, if it's appealing to the eye or to high-end clients or if it looks pretty basic um, I think it's definitely appealing to the eye and it is kind of basic but you don't want to have a website that has too much going on on it because you want your photos to shine through so you you do want to have something basic so that your photos can be the main statement so at least with the photography website so I think it's it's fine and um, with high-end, I think it could go a little high-end as well. Um, let's see. Because your, your work is definitely good. So and I'm not sure your prices. Let me see your prices real quick. Okay, I'm not sure where um, your prices... I mean, when you say high-end, if you're thinking like, I mean, automatically I think high-end like a little bit more on the more pricier side, and I wouldn't say that these are high-end prices. I would say that these prices are really low, so if you want to appeal to a higher-end client, I would probably raise your prices. Um, so that's my opinion on that one. So hopefully that has helped, and then I'll go to the very last one which is Angela and let me make sure what Angela said overall feedback user-friendly and Angela I really like your website I think it is very user-friendly I love this photo here I mean it, I can tell um, who your ideal client is it seems like you have a lot of moms and um, I really like this testimonial if you can find it right here I thought this was really great. As a mom of four, I am rarely in a picture. Angela took the time to capture some really wonderful photos of me and my son. Um, and 
I noticed that right there, you can totally use that in your marketing and advertising because if you're targeting moms who are busy, like moms of even, I mean, I'm a mom and I just have one child and I'm rarely in pictures. I feel like a busy mom and I only have one child. So moms in general are busy and um, rarely get in the picture. So you can kind of use that in some of your advertising and marketing if you wanted to, to appeal to the moms and to say, hey, you know, moms, it, you're rarely in pictures. You really need to document um, photos of yourself for your kids and photos with your kids. So I would definitely use that as an angle. And um, I, I love these. Um, it's not really a slide. I guess it's a slideshow. Well, no, it's not a slideshow, but I really like this. The only thing here is this text is a little bit difficult to read because it's the light white and it's over black and white. So I, and it's small too, it's a little bit small. If you can make this font a little bit bigger, just a little bit, um, it'll be easier to read. Or if you wanted to put like a, uh, a shape behind it, like a color, let's see, maybe, I don't know if you have any colors in your brand, maybe um, any specific colors, but if you want to put like a color box behind it, I'm sorry if I keep scrolling up and down if it gets dizzy, but I want to make sure I remember everything. I, if you want to put a color box behind it, I think that would be great. It would make it easier to read. Then, let me see everything else. You've got your about. I really like the about. I like how you have things you love. You've got your blog. And if you're still reading this, you might be our kind of people. I like that as well. I think you did a really excellent job here. Um, and I like how you have this contact form here and you segment them into the different types of photography. That's really important. And I'm kind of curious to know um, if you're segmenting your email as well, if you're actually doing email marketing and sending um, email specific to the type of photography, because that's, that's really great. And then I like how you have when is the best time to call. I like that a lot. And you have specific times and it lets them know what time you would be calling them um, and you've got the phone number there and um, I really like that as, as well I think that's really great I don't think I've seen that before when is the best time to call on a website a photography website so um, really great job so hopefully this has been helpful to everyone and um, if you guys if you have any questions at all about the feedback I've given, feel free to place it in the comments below. And I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday evening, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.